it's wonderful to share our stories when we gather. And everyone seems to remember the time when I was nearly run over by a bicycle. It wasn't maybe my highlight of stories, but it was a good story. Um, so this person almost hit me with the bicycle and some minutes later, I uh, met the driver again and I smiled at her as I would do. And she stopped and then she apologized. And then she started pouring out her tragic life story. I just kept hearing God saying, keep going, keep going. And then the voices of my um, friends in, in our acorn group, I could hear them. Keep going, keep going, listen and encourage. And I did that. And it was a very positive experience and I truly felt God's presence. I'd like to tell you this story. Because I'm retired, I don't have to leap out of bed in the morning. And so sometimes I find myself lying there awake and thoughts come into my mind. Um, I don't know where they come from, whether it's my imagination or God. But anyway, the story is that I had a thought one morning as I lay there half awake that I should invite my neighbors to my house one evening. During the past two years, I live in a stair with uh, 11 flats. During the past year, we've had uh, five new occupants come to the house, so people don't really need, know each other. So I asked two of the residents what they thought about the idea. They thought it was a good idea and said that I should go ahead. So last April, I invited all the residents to come to my house on an evening. Um, half of the houses turned up. Uh, two of the people said they couldn't come because they weren't well, and one was away on holiday. Only two people didn't respond to the invitation. We had a happy time together. Some people brought food and we chatted and got to know each other and discovered that we are quite an international stare. We've got people from Spain, from Italy, from France, and from Turkey. Then we decided that it would be nice to meet again. So we had a picnic lunch in the back garden during the time of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. And after that, one of the people who stay in the stair said she would like to host a gathering in Christmas. So there's one particular story I would really like to share with you. I had friends down for dinner one night and we'd finished our dinner and we were having a few drinks when my friend's son phoned her and said, Mum, I've been online and I'm really interested, I want to go to church tomorrow. So it was a Saturday evening, we were having dinner. And my friend said, so which church would it be then? And he'd already selected one up on Edinburgh High Street somewhere. And I said to my friend, bring your son to our church. I'm sure he'll get lots from it. Young people, music, our minister's great, come along. So on the Sunday, my friend and her son attended church. Now, my friend had faith, um, but she hadn't been around church in a long, long time. So she was very keen to see inside my church because she knew I was a, a, a Christian and, and came to church most Sundays. Anyway, my friend and her son came along, and he's been with us ever since. It was just after Christmas, so actually I managed to fill the slots uh, between Christmas and New Year, and I thought I'd do a double whammy card and... Uh, Wish some people in in my um, flat uh, building, uh, some other residents here, wish them a happy Christmas and a happy new year. Um, so I slid uh, a few a card under a few doors, must have been roughly 15 doors, perhaps, um, sort of a, a level or two above and below me. Um, and I got some really, really nice responses. I, I um, thought I'd give this a go and maybe I'd get one or two responses, but didn't know what to expect. But I got so many really nice responses. I left my phone number uh, in the card and said that uh, I was here if they ever wanted to talk about anything at all. Um, so I got some really nice texts sort of straight away. And I even got a few cards back, slid under slid under our door, which was really nice. So had them up uh, up on the shelves. And that was really, as I say, unexpected and really nice to receive. And uh, even one of those um, uh, I've kept in touch with since and, and we've come, become fairly close friends. We've had uh, 
this couple over that's uh, also on our floor that uh, we'd never spoken to before, but uh, we've had them over um, to our flat a few times and um, yeah, kept in touch well and they've looked after our dog for us quite a few times, so we're in debt to them actually. Um, but it's been really nice to see that friendship blossom out of that, out of, as I say, something that I really didn't expect too much out of, but uh, that was especially nice to feed back to the group at the time and say how much positive response I'd got from someone else's idea. So I, yeah, really uh, indebted to them as well for the idea. So yeah, it's nice to make such tangible um, sort of pro progress and, and friends out of, out of this. And uh, yeah, I'm ex excited to see what else comes out of Acorn. Now, my favorite story is based on the time I spoke about being invited to say grace at my in-law's home. And then some months later, uh, my sister or my son-in-law's sister started to talk to me about the things of God. When I was telling this story at our meeting, um, one of the other members of the group said, oh, that's an idea. And he started saying grace when he had members or friends over for a meal. And then they started talking to him about God. It was a great example of ACORN teamwork. And for me, a confirmation of God's presence in all of our conversations together. <laughs>